Now, former presidential candidate Ahmed Buhari believes the southeastern part of the country should be given the opportunity to rule from 2023. He said that these earlier tonight on Plus Politics. He added that former Senate President Pius Ayan Pius will be a qualified candidate to rule Nigeria. If, if not, if not the, probably the largest, third largest ethnic group in the country, which are the Igbos, I think for equity, fairness and justice, um, regardless of where I'm from, I would like to see a Southeastern president emerge. I believe it's going to create a lot of um, calm. It's going to give a lot of um, people the, the belief that we are running an entity called Nigeria that every single block matters and the, uh, the affairs and the concerns of every single block matters. The agitations that we see across the country, especially in the Southwest, is nothing but the fact that they feel like they're not part of Nigeria. And that is why every single day people talk about leaving this country or trying to secede from this country, even though there's no clear plan on how they're going to do it. In my opinion, one of the best ways that we can resolve these kinds of um, agitations is to allow everybody have a, 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 a say on the table. I know we have people like Ojuz or Kalu who has declared. I know we have people like uh, Rochus of Poracha who has declared. There is a serving minister, um, Chupi Mekan Wajuba, even though he has not declared, but he has also uh, showed interest. But I think of all of these people, the one person that I think has got true track record in terms of his ability to understand the Nigerian situation is uh, former Senate President, uh, Senator Ayim Pius Ayim. Now, Ayim Pius Ayim was not just the Senate President. Um, who was controlling a whole arm of government, which of course is the National Assembly. Um, I think he controlled it very well. I think it was a successful era. It was peaceful. But he then also served as a secretary to the government of the Federation. Now, the secretary of the government of the Federation doesn't just control the entire civil service. He also steered the affairs of the, another arm of government, which is the executive. And to top it all up, he is a lawyer. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.